Hello, hi, welcome to a new video, I'm Jacques, this is Mr. Pink Ink, and today is at TBR because we are going to do Magical Reels on again, yes, it's been moved from September, it usually was April and August, it's been moved to September this year for some reason, I, I don't know what it is, I'm sorry, they probably did say, but I don't know. <laughs> I love Magical Readathon, I've been doing it for years, um, and it's just it's just a fun time all around, so, um, yeah, let's get into it. Um, just refreshing my job, my career that I want to do is a spell sword. Um, I completed it in April. I did my my, my four subjects. Um, I wanted to, to to do a second. Ooh, what's going on? Something feels like it's digging into my eye. Um, a second um, career, but then I ran out of time, so I didn't I didn't pass that one. But that's fine. My main one is done. This year, this this term, this semester, um, we are being graded. So the difference is. We only have to read one book per prompt or one book per subject in April. In August, you're setting exams, so you either need to read one, two, or three books per subject, depending on the qualifications that you need. For example, if you need an O in your subject, that means ordinary, um, you need to read one book. Q means qualified. And you need to read two books and then i think it's d i don't know what the last one is for or an e so it's either for distinction or for excellent i don't know what the last one is i do apologize lol <laughs> so for me for my four subjects i need to read one two subjects in animal studies i need to read one subject in demonology i need to read two subjects in restoration and I need to read one subject in spells and incantations. So that makes a total of six books. Um, I am not focusing on any side quests at the moment. Uh, I will do that during the month. We'll see how this goes because my, my, my list is kind of thick. <laughs> Just a quick note on the guild points. Um, G from the book roast has updated the system which is pretty spare because I wasn't as you, if you've seen my videos, I've been, lately I haven't been tracking them. So, unfortunately, with the new upgraded system, I had to go and check, okay? I had to go back and check and I go watch my videos because I, I stopped tracking them. <laughs> now, excluding Nightfall up until last year, Lightfall, um, which I didn't count individually, I just added up. I made that up as full. So, I'm on 400 points. Then, I finished the spring semester, so that gives me another 50 points. And I also did the Choose Your Own Adventure during last year. And that gives me 70 points. So my total right now is standing at 520 points. And I'm not going to dig any more for any more that. And I'm not going to go see if I'm, you know, I'm maybe 10 points short or whatever. So I'm going to stand at 520 points. Um, and that's we are going to spend on stuffs. I can't wait. I would probably buy stuff like the boons, you know, like uh, doubling up in prompts kind of a thing. Because I am that guy. Anyway, uh, let's get into the prompts. <laughs> Our first subject is animal studies. And I would need to be qualified. I need a Q level, which means I need to read two bookies. So, <sighs> let's have a look. Um... For my first read, I need to read something, a book that has Phoenix in the title or on the cover. Phoenix, the firebird that, you know, dies and resurrects. Um, I got this not so long ago from Jonathan Ball. This was July drop. Thank you, Jonathan Ball Publishers. The Phoenix Ballroom by Ruth Hogan. I've heard many things about it. Um, yeah, so... You can pause to read. You can check it on Goodreads. There you go. New book smell. Okay, it's not that new anymore. So, looking for that. Give me one second. 
Sorry about that, there was somebody at my door. <laughs> no problem. Um, and then on to the second subject, I need to read a standalone book. Um, I'm also, you know, this is a book that I didn't get to in my August TBR. This is also from Jonathan Ball Publishers. This is now part of the Heinemann African Writers Series. This new home is at Apollo Africa. Um, it's a standalone, but this is a series of books by different authors, okay, in, in, in a writer's series, highlighting the writers. So this is not a series. This is a standalone, even though it's part of a series, like I said, a, the, the writer series. It's not a book series. Um, and again, you can pause to read. So yeah, so we've got two. That's just one subject, guys. <laughs> That's fine. And then, um, on to demonology. I only need to read one subject and for that, I need to get a non-reader to pick a book for me. So, um, what I'm going to do is, the rest of the books on this list is very Jonathan Ball heavy. Um, there's three Jonathan Balls. I don't know what the other one is, um, which is an arc. Then there's another arc, which is an indie author. Um, so, there's three Jonathan Ball novels. Um, I do need more books, but I don't want to do another Jonathan Ball. So, I've got two Pan Max and a Penguin. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go, when my nephew gets home, I'm going to ask him to pick one for me. And then we're going to go with whatever he chooses. I will record that. I uh, was hoping to do that before doing this whole thing, but he's not here. And I've been waiting. He said to me this morning, I'll be home soon. That was four hours ago. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to get him to choose whatever he chooses. That's going to go onto my list. Um, and that will be my choice for demonology. Um, I will add that in after. So you can see the back of the book as well. And uh, then on to restoration. Um, I need to, need to read two books, two subjects on that one. Um, first subject is to read a book with a night sky on the cover, a night sky. Um, I've applied for an arc for The Full Moon Problem by Kay Clare, uh, which is a werewolf, which male, male romance with a trans MC. Um, and I'm so looking forward to that. Um, if I don't, if I'm not successful and I don't get an arc, it's all good, it's all fine. Um, I will need to find another book for that prompt. Um, the arcs will be sent out sometime in September because it's available, it will be available or is slated for release in October for Halloween vibes. Obviously. So there's that. Then, um, the second prompt. I need to read a book with a poisonous plant on the cover or whatever. Uh, now I've had this for a while. It's also Jonathan Ball Publishers, thank you very much. The Betrayals by Bridget Collins. I've just finished reading The Silence Factory by Bridget Collins. So I'm looking forward to this one. There's another one um, by her. Uh, the Binding, I think. I don't have that one. And I'm looking forward to this one. And we're going to go with the poisonous plant. I don't know if it is or isn't, but that looks poisonous being compared to this one. See? See how they look so poisonous? So we'll go with that. Okay? Thanks. <laughs> and on to our last subject. I need to read one book for spells and incantations. Um, and that is my one book. I need to, it needs to be, I need to predict it. A five star prediction. I need to think a book is five stars and then then, then I need to read that one. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit on this prompt. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go with The Instrumentalist by Harriet Constable. This is an arc, okay. It's available in August this month. Yeah, um, that's the cover. I have applied for a read-along with Tandem Collective. Was I applied for two in August, early August. I got the second one. And then just as we started the second one, I got an email um, asking me for my phone number. 
same as with the first one. I then haven't heard from them since. So, are we gonna go with this one? I'm predicting it's a five star because I did read the arc. I did read the arc. But the reason I'm asking, I've, I've applied for the read-along, is that I'm struggling for the review of this book because it's for me. Okay, it's just it's just so much. So hopefully that'll help me with my thoughts during the creative challenges and stuff and asking questions will hopefully help with that. So this is my five star prediction. Okay. So far we have these four books plus the ebook, that's five. Um, I need one more on that list, and then as soon as my nephew gets home, I will get him to pick one, and then I will insert it there. Bye. <laughs>